Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here on our Bitcoin update. So this is my daily chart. This is my weekend uh, update, right? So uh, when we look at the daily chart, we, we need to be really patient because nothing really changes dramatically. We need to be always <clears throat> aware of it, okay? So just let me point out some things here. Here we have the TD, okay? This is the TD uh, resistance, the TD, uh, sorry, the TD support, the TD resistance here, it's market, so it's not a big secret, right? The top of the, the wave A and the bottom of the wave A, okay? Now we, are, we see that the wave B is touching the 65%, and we don't have a lot of information, not enough data to say anything else. Just let, let me see. Um, yes, we are trying to touch the 100 DMA. I said that. I said so. Didn't I? I think I said so yesterday that we would touch the, the 100 DMA. That we would try at least. And that the if we were to touch the six one God damn it. if we were to touch the six one eight six five percent retracement for a wave b which i marked with this red dotted line here which would like have the confluence of this 200 dma here as yes, we'll have three three um, three different source of three different source of information giving us confidence but we need to break this 100 EMA resistance here. Right? So far, we failed to do so. Yeah, and we haven't touched the 50% retracement yet, which is the sweet spot for a wave B. So, <clears throat> a lot to be considered. If we finish with wave B here, it's not, it's, it's, it's not uncommon. Okay, it's okay. But we need to wait actually wait wait and wait yes this is the daily and uh, that that's the monkey again amazing uh and we this is the weekend <laughs> this is the daily chart we we have this three green candles beautiful as i said yesterday if we were to put a new high here go higher we need to we are gonna face this 55 EMA resistance which is by the way uh 7200 perhaps a little bit yes like this okay we haven't touched it yet and we have the 21 EMA here that's gonna be 7400 another confluence when we go and check the our chart yeah, one hour chart we have a lot of information a lot i'm sorry if it's a little bit cluttered but i need all this information guys and i i recommend you guys to to do the same okay uh what happened okay uh we have touched this 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 fib channel here that i've drawn is pretty much contained the whole movement that is this that this movement that I'm calling wave B. Okay, so we have this wave A and this wave B. Then we would have a wave C. Okay, exactly like we have here in the daily chart, but this is a blank chart for now. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I am. The way I'm labeling it now is that we have a one wave here, two, three, four, and five to finish the fifth wave of the wave C, okay, and that would finish our wave B, okay. If we are to put a, put new highs here, right? This is the seven three hundred with a resistance here, okay. Don't forget it. We have the target two here, which is exactly where uh, where we have the 618 of the whole retracement 
okay so I marketed here okay I marked some possible targets we might have another leg up but we have a no we have a really likely possibility that we want why I'm saying that because we have this yellow dotted line here that has been so far a gigantic resistance okay gigantic resistance we try to break it not once but one two uh, three times three times what we have tried to break it last time was today okay first September September the first <laughs> and we failed so this might be this wave one the way I'm calling it this might be a truncation this might be a fifth wave a truncated fifth wave that would finish our wave C here okay instead of there instead of putting a new high we would finish it here and it would be fine we wouldn't have this whole structure here that I'm proposing okay we wouldn't uh, I'm sorry um, we wouldn't have this structure here one two three four five we would indeed we wouldn't have this okay um, we would we would have just one two three four five a micro count here and we would finish the fifth wave here and we would we wouldn't have a new high those red lines here we wouldn't break this 50 percent here we wouldn't break this yellow dotted line here this resistance and it would go down is this it's completely possible okay is actually likely because that's that's the data that we have uh, what's gonna give us confidence okay this what is gonna give us confidence that we don't have a truncated fifth here if we establish a new high okay if we break this yellow line here and go beyond the level of the third wave because truncation guys truncation is when we have the fifth wave um, I know I'm labeling it one two three four five but imagine that the fifth is here okay not there but it's here it's we finish it here not there but here and we fail to go beyond the level of the third wave and we go down it, it means uh, truncation when we have a truncation when we have a, a fifth wave that is truncated it means a huge trend reversal in this case it's not a trend reversal but it means that we would have a dramatic uh, drop here and we would break this channel here okay so remains to be seen i think that we are gonna spend the weekend kind of thinking and and not thinking bitcoin is gonna be kind of uh, taking taking its time going back going back and forth here trying to touch this second wave because remember bitcoin doesn't care about elliot wave but we do analysts care so they are watching for this and we have bots we have algo algos that are kind of messing with us and if they are want if they want to to go down if they want to to dump it if they are gonna of course they're gonna kind of uh, mess with us trying to make us think and make us buy it here so I'm not gonna buy it here this green line here okay yes I'm not I'm not gonna buy even though it's a oh it's a huge opportunity to I don't know 20% of profit if we get here yes but it's a risky trade a risky trade I don't care I, I'm not gonna trend against I'm not gonna trade against the trend the trend is going down the trend is going down according to what I have analyzed so if the trend is going down I'm not gonna buy that's a simple rule guys if you stick with this rule it's a it's a greater chance of success I uh, the way I speaking by experience and um and it's not only me but a, a bunch of analysts that says the same so i don't trade against the trend eh? that's it it's um 
So in this case here, I'm not gonna buy. I'm just marking it here. I'm gonna wait to short. So if if Bitcoin goes down and uh, goes down like this and breaks this, cha this channel, of course, 50% here is gonna be an awesome target, okay? Then it's gonna, of course, retrace. Then I'm gonna short, okay? I'm gonna always wait for the retracement. I'm not a breakout kind of trader because you have some traders that what they do, they, uh, pardon me for this draw, but they wait for this breakout. They put the short here. They wait for the breakout. They put the stop loss like here and they aim for the, I don't know, for this low here. They wait for the breakout and they 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 enter the position at the breakout. I I don't like to do that. I prefer to to trade the pullback. Okay, I trade the retracement, the pullback. When it's when I see a pullback, I enter and then I short it or I long or I go long. Okay, so I'm not buying it. Okay, because we might have this truncation okay um, because we have this leading diagonal okay oh I for I'm sorry I was <coughs> I forgot to mention that we have this wedge here okay this formation here and we broke it you see this formation here this can be a leading diag one two three four five or an ending diag for a fifth wave a truncated fifth so Yes, Bitcoin <laughs> Elliott wave wise is not giving us a lot of clues what's going to happen. Even though we have all this confluence here, all the information, all the uh, algo targets and everything, we don't really know what's going to happen. We have this this wedge here. I'm betting that's gonna go down. Okay, I would short here if I were a scalper or something. I would short it here because I think. It's definitely going down but how much is gonna go down it, is it gonna stop here at the 61865 and then we would call it uh, wave 2 this is a this is a story you have to be told okay guys so um, that's my update I think it's enough uh, if you guys enjoy my videos enjoy my content please subscribe and like and if you want to know a little bit more about technical analysis and have a nice group to, to talk about it, we have our Discord channel, our Discord server, right? And you have the link in the description. Please join us. Um, and if you haven't followed me on social media, please consider in doing so. It's always nice to have new people there and to participate and have fun together right so thank you very much and we see each other next one have a wonderful weekend bye bye cheers